So good afternoon, everybody. Um, welcome to this session um, entitled, What Does Inclusivity Mean at JP Morgan? My name is Paula Humphrey. Um, if you've attended some of the other events that we've been involved with as R&P, you'll probably recognize me by now. Um, I'm part of the campus recruiting team at JP Morgan. And my role as um, head of campus engagement is to go out and find great talent like you and educate you about JP Morgan and our opportunities um, work with my colleagues to inspire you to apply and just make sure that we've got the widest variety of the best talent applying to us at any time. So I'm really excited today to be able to um, allow you to meet some of my colleagues who are very involved um, and very committed to inclusivity at JP Morgan. It's something that we think is incredibly important. Obviously, we're good at what we do, but I think one of the reasons why we're successful at what we do is that all of our colleagues come from such a wide range of backgrounds and experiences, um, and that really helps us to bring together ideas and ways of thinking that keep pushing us to the top. So it's not just about doing the right thing, it's about pushing our business forward and making sure that everybody who um, can contribute gets a chance to contribute. Obviously, the theme of, of these two days is well-being and um, inclusivity at work. And at JP Morgan, we talk about being able to bring your whole self to work. And that's sort of what inclusivity means to us. So over the course of the next 20, 25 minutes or so, um, we're going to be talking about this. And what, what does that look like in practice? What does that really mean? Um, I'm really thrilled to be joined by the lead, as I think they'll be known from now on. So we have Lee Corliss, um, who is a colleague um, working in our tech business, who also is, runs our Autism at Work program in EMEA. And then Lee Coleman, um, who is in our ops business, and I know that Lee and the two Lees are, are old, old buddies from, from way back as well. But Lee um, is part of the leadership in our Bold group, which is um, a group that specifically looks at promoting um, support and opportunities for our um, Black heritage and fame um, colleagues within JP Morgan. So hopefully also we're going to be joined by Gloria, who's part of our Women on the Move team. Um, as I'm sure you're used to there now with all the virtual events, we do have a few technical issues, but I'm sure Gloria will be with us when she can. So I'm going to start by asking Lee and Lee, if you guys just want to say a little bit more about who you are and why you're here. Lee, call us your, your top top left, Lee. So if we start with you, um, if you could just introduce yourself to everyone, please. Yeah, thank you, Paula. Um, so you already know my name. My name is Lee Corliss, um, and I work in global technology. Um, I have a number of roles uh, my main role is i look after our communities and inclusion globally uh, within like I say within technology so we look after 85000 of our employees within global technology um, and the other part that i look after is the autism at work program throughout uh, our europe middle east and africa region and our asia and pacific um, region also so um, and i'm also uh, quite open within my company that I am uh, diagnosed on the autism spectrum. Thanks, Lee. Lee Coleman, over to you. So, so, so very good. Thank you all. Um, as introductions, my name is Lee Coleman. I currently work in the wholesale payments side of the business, uh, treasury services. Um, I am a regional client service manager um, for the Europe, Middle East and Africa. Um, side. Um, I manage probably one of the most uh, diverse teams uh, that I've come across in this organization. I joined uh, 25 years ago in the U.S., uh, but my team currently sits across two countries, so the United Kingdom and the Philippines. Um, I, the team speaks over seven languages to our clients, um, and they themselves are from 11 countries uh, spanning across Europe, Middle East, and, and, and Africa. So um, I, I think it's, it's definitely, um, you know, uh, uh, it's what we, we aspire to as far as uh, being able to support our diverse global clients. Uh, we have a diverse um, uh, employee base as well. Brilliant, thank you. Um, I want to kick things off and pick up on a discussion that, that we had yesterday when we were preparing for this call. And I think everyone listening will hear the words diversity and inclusion all the time. Um, but is there a difference between diversity and inclusion? And, and I believe we talked about this yesterday. So 
I don't know if somebody wants to jump in first on on that that conversation that we had of what is diversity and what is inclusion. Well, maybe I'll just start with uh, with since, since I just touched on diversity. I think you know diversity. You know, it it covers you know the you know the backgrounds. It covers uh, gender and race. It 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 is it is that that first and foremost um, element that uh, that you identify within a, a population. Um, in itself, you know, we 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 strive to have a, an organization that uh, is diverse. Um, so that includes, you know, backgrounds, education, experience, uh, abilities. Uh, you know, you name it. Uh, you know, all of the things that will allow someone uh, to come to work um, and be the, their whole self. Um, but in addition to that, inclusivity is the next sort of branch of that. It's 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 not just having someone uh, or giving someone a seat at the table, uh, but it's also a, a voice at the table. It, it, it's what allows us to um, to have uh, diverse um, uh, discussions, diverse um, uh, thoughts and ideas versus uh, the echo chamber. And Lee, I'm not sure if you want to add more to that. Yeah, I would say I would say the the inclusion part f for us is is all about our culture within within the company. So um, it's not just good to say that we're made up of um, you know x amount of diverse backgrounds. It's it's then the involvement of that that those individuals have and the feeling that they are um, actually uh, making a difference within the company and not just within their team. So so we have lots of lots of extra things that people can get involved with and the company allows the time um, for you to, to get involved in those things so actually makes you feel that you're part of a community within within the workplace so that you know you do have a voice you're not just a number on a page um, and and that's the whole point of the you know the inclusive part when you're you're looking at what kind of company to go and join you know when i join i don't want to be a number i want to add value the company should want you to add value and at JP Morgan that is you know probably one of the most prominent things that we have is is every single member of staff counts and matters no matter where you sit in the organization and that that to me is is inclusivity brilliant thank you and it's, it's what we were saying that yesterday diversity is something that you measure and you track and inclusivity is sort of something that you feel and create um, both of you are involved in a lot of initiatives that the bank runs, and, and Lynn Coleman, if I could come to you first, um, obviously your leadership of the Bold BRG. Could you just start by telling us, explaining to the audience what the BRGs are? Yeah, so, so JP Morgan, in order to, you know, make people, again, feel uh, involved and included, we do have um, business resource groups, and, and these groups are, are open to all. Uh, employees. So Bold is just one of them. It's, it's our Black Organization for Leadership Development. Um, it, it, it provides all employees, regardless of their backgrounds, uh, but specifically those of African descent, uh, an empowering environment that focuses on their professional and personal development in, so, in support of the company's business goals and initiatives. So, you know, we want to make, you know, our environment uh, as as inclusive as possible. Um, we would like for those that come in from backgrounds that you know are, are of African descent uh, to give them also um, you know extra support along the way of uh, their professional and professional development, uh, which includes uh, networking events, um, mentoring, mentorship. Um, there's also um, speaker series. So so really just designed to make. Uh, our environment very open uh, and inclusive uh, for for all JP Morgan employees. Um, so really, I think being a member of Bold since I, I first joined uh, the UK team uh, about uh, nine years ago, we've grown in size. Um, there's uh, you know a, a number of uh, you know non-black um, uh, individuals that join the uh, the events that we put on, um, sponsor. Um, the networking events. So we have a, a, a black coffee event with our managing directors um, and the managing directors join and they speak to you know, our associate population, our, our junior level employees, and oftentimes just give them encouragement and, and tips and advice 
on how to advance uh, in such a large global organization. So the BRGs in general, um, these are the types of organizations that will provide that additional support uh, to um, an ever uh, diverse population of employees. Thank you. And, and for the audience, um, our other BRGs cover things like we have Pride, which um, speaks to our LGBTQ plus community, uh, Women on the Move, uh, we have our Working Families Network, um, Military and Vet, Aspire, um, which is for our Southeast Asian colleagues, Atlante for our Hispanic colleagues, um, NextGen, which would be the, the BRGs that all of you would be joining, which is for our, our sort of junior talent as well. So lots of different BRGs that with very similar initiatives to what Lee just outlined in terms of really supporting people and, and giving you someone who is, you know, you have that connection with. Um, and I think also importantly, the BRGs uh, promote allyship. So you don't have to be someone of, of um, African heritage to be involved, but what a great opportunity to really connect, um, understand a different perspective and, and be able to advocate and support your colleagues um, from a position of real understanding. Lee, your situation is a little bit different because Autism at Work isn't, isn't a BRG, it's a, I, I don't quite know how we, we describe it, it's kind of a, a business imperative really, so could you tell us a little bit more about Autism at Work? Yeah, so so the autism at work is is definitely different. So it is it is a corporate hiring and staff support initiative. Um, when we talk about this, so the, the actual uh, program was set up about five years ago with the intention to to bring talented individuals who just happen to be on the autism spectrum into meaningful roles across the organisation. Now. Uh, when you say that, some people jump to straight up and say, "Oh, this is you know, it's a charity. It's a it's a good thing to do." It's it's nothing like that. This is about the fact that there are a number of talented people that sit out there that have um, social interaction uh, difficulties, um, uh, to name a few, um, and that that challenges them getting through an interview stage. So the program was set up to to ensure that we are. Uh, helping talent no matter what uh, area uh, they sit in, no matter what their background, um, and we're helping them to come into the organization. The other side of the program is obviously to support the individuals that are there, not only the people on the spectrum, but the support network around them. So the managers, the colleagues. Um, so it's about setting up the whole culture that when people come in with a neurodiverse background, that they come into a, a culture that's there to support them achieve and they're not coming in already feeling that they're on the back foot. So um, this is why, you know, you look at when you're looking at companies that you want to join, these are the things you should be looking out for. What kind of programs do they have that really, you know, it's not just about hiring me, but supporting me once I'm in and going back to what you said at the beginning, helping me bring, you know, my best self to work and and removing those barriers you know i'm i'm somebody on the spectrum and i've spoken openly around i have had to mask through my corporate life to appear normal to get to where i am and should i need to do that no i should just be bringing my skill set and and not putting energies into those kind of things i should be putting my energies into my work and that is you know really what the Autism at Work program's done. We've removed a lot of barriers, helped managers get a lot of training. Um, we've brought a lot of individuals in. So this this initiative uh, we've hired in eight different countries now. Um, and we've changed a lot of uh, processes and procedures. But to show that we're a fully inclusive company, we don't just change these processes and procedures for people who are on the spectrum. If it works for somebody on the spectrum, it works for everybody. So therefore, we change that process and procedure for everybody. Brilliant. Thank you. And I, I think from my point of view as well, as somebody who works in recruiting, having the opportunity to link in with Autism at Work, and Lee and I are working on a project at the moment, but also with the BRGs, um, lead some of your other colleagues to really help us understand more about the people that we're trying to connect with and try, trying to hire and, and really just making sure that, that we are as open as we want to be um, is, is a real benefit and I think that's something that, that being the size of JP Morgan you, you're going to have that opportunity to connect with the, with your um, colleagues but that's a, something I value as well is that your own education and um, conscious that, that we haven't got a lot of time so I think we spoke yesterday as well about the fact that 
you know, we, we have amazing resources and I think JP Morgan has a really positive attitude, but let's not gloss over the fact that think nothing is perfect. Um, and I think this year in particular has been a very, um, very important and very significant year, um, in terms of DNI for, for lots of different reasons. Um, from your perspective, what are, what are some of the challenges you think we, we still face? And, and we were saying yesterday, we might throw this out as a challenge to anyone on this call who joins JP Morgan. Um, these are going to be some of the things that we're hoping that you help us with. But what are some of the challenges you think we still face? And I don't know who wants to, to jump in on that first. Yeah, I, I would say, you know, just a, as an organization, we, we mirror the society at large as well. We have a great culture. We have, um, uh, you know, from the top down, um, you know, we, we really do um, try to instill uh, upon our employees um, the type of culture, how we do business, our, our just general ethics. Um, but just a, as in society as well, there's there's still, you know, uh, leaps and bounds um, that we need to to make. Um, as far as being able to, you know, have, you know, inclusive, full inclusivity, um, you know, address perhaps, you know, gaps in gender or uh, diversity, the metric side. Um, so those are things that, that JP Morgan, um, you know, does keep uh, an, an eye on. Um, and there's also, again, there's, 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 there's room for growth. There's room for opportunity to, uh, to, do, to do more. Um, in that space, and I think I think if you try to look at, at the more positive side, perhaps if there ever is a positive side of what's happened on in the, in the last year, um, certainly if we look at the pandemic side, it's making companies look at a different way that they're going to perform for, further forward. So, with everybody being moved to home working with virtual immediate effect, um, you know companies suddenly found there was no drop in productivity. There were, you know, people were working well from home. Um, like anything else, people struggled. So, so going forward, companies are going to look at different ways of working, more remote working, which is gonna provide opportunity for people who might not have had it before. So if you don't live in an area that's close to one of our big um, centers or our big offices, you now potentially have the opportunity to join companies like ours. But then that, that again does create and pose problems around how do you build, you know, good teams and networks in an online environment that you, you're only talking via Zoom. Um, so, so there are challenges for the company to to overcome in helping build those and make sure that people are still feeling um, included. There's challenges to make sure that people don't get Zoom fatigue, which I'm, I'm told is, is you know, a new phenomenon this year. Um, um, and I guess me and Lee definitely feel that, and you, Paula, as well. We, we are on Zoom calls all the time. Um, but equally, you know, it creates great opportunity for individuals to apply, certainly to our company. If we think about the UK, you had to be in Bournemouth, London, or, or Glasgow, um, or close to those to be able to get a role with us. Uh, so watch out, those opportunities could come down the line that you don't need to be. So there is a positive side to the, some of the elements of this year. Definitely, and I think from a recruiting point of view as well, I mean, um, in previous years, we would have maybe gone out to as many universities as we could, but you can never get to everyone. But hey, this time, if you've got a, a computer or a mobile phone, you can come and be part of us. And, and from my point of view, that's so exciting because. I would love to be able to go to every single university, but I, I think my boss and my husband might have something to say about that. Um, we've got about five minutes to do to close, so I wanted to, to just ask a couple of sort of more personal questions. Um, you've both been with JP Morgan for a while, so there must be something that keeps you here. What is it that you love about the JP Morgan culture? So, to be very honest, there, there's, there's, there's so much that uh, I, I do love about this organization. Uh, and for me, you know, I, I am a story of, of global mobility, uh, starting off with a firm in Chicago, um, you know, opportunities that, uh, that exist globally. You can actually, you know, you can, you can move as well, but now as what Lee Corliss was mentioning as well with the pandemic, um, you don't necessarily have to do the, the geographical moves. But I will say one thing that I enjoy about this company is, is you know, it is a, a global organization. And so, you know, having colleagues, partners, 
clients across the globe uh, and being able to uh, to work with them. For me, that, that's been um, something that's led to my sort of longevity uh, in in my career and um, uh, working with uh, with the firm. So it's allowed me to reinvent myself, uh, you know, uh, role after role, uh, location after location. There's always something that you can, you know, learn and there's always, you know, different uh, colleagues that uh, you get to meet uh, and also learn from as well. So Lee Corliss and I, you know, we, we, we are, uh, colleagues, and I think you know, with my move here and being able to uh, to, to to work with uh, um, you know these colleagues that I have, uh, that really has been, I think, one of the one of the best things. Hey, thank you. Totally follow that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it it is it is all of that. So you know, I I came into I haven't been in the company as as long as Lee. So I've I've come in from and I've worked in other UK companies, and I would say this is you know a company that is is very uh, proactive in how it supports its employees it gives great opportunity to educate yourself and and support that education and and that mobility not just maybe geographically but you know across the 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 entire business functions that we have so i used to work with with lee in operations i used to lead the governance team over there um and you know, I could barely switch a computer on, and now I work in global technology. So you know, the the opportunities you can teach an old dog new tricks, and 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 you know, it's fantastic. And I'm and and being able to manage a team uh, globally. So you know, my team is predominantly based in the U.S. Um, and and to have that opportunity that you wouldn't have if you were just in a small U.K.-based company. So it, it really is um, such a fantastic place to work and you get to experience so many different cultures um, without, you know, having to travel as such. You, you're interacting every day with colleagues around the globe and you are learning every day. Great, thank you. And I, and I echo that and I'm sure everyone watching sees, you know, I, who I get to work with and, and that, that's pretty cool. Um, we're actually at the end of our time. That has gone super quickly. Um, I'm sorry that we don't have time to take questions today, but my colleagues um, from all lines of business are waiting over our, in our employer booth right now um, to take any questions that you've got about anything that you've heard here, um, how you see that, how any of this plays out for the analyst and associate roles, um, what we do to support our um, diverse interns. So please do, uh, do pop over to our employer booth and have a chat with them. Um, and then in closing, I just want to say a huge thank you to Lee and Lee, who I think are now our, our new panelists um, for the Anderson Deck of the JP Morgan panel. Um, but thank you so much for sharing your insights and um, being so open. And hopefully um, those of you who've watched have found this useful and have got some good ideas about the kind of things that you should be thinking about when making sort of decisions about the companies that you want to work for. So thank you very much. Um, best of luck and hopefully we'll see you soon. Thank you.